I know nobody watches After Sun, but this particular one was pretty good. Clarice is spilling the tea on Tyler. Amy is spilling the tea on Hugo. It was actually pretty good. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new here, my name is Ngozi and welcome to Discover Ngozi where I post reviews, sit down videos, vlogs and university related videos. So as you can see from the title, this is an after sun review. This is probably the only one I'm going to do unless they're quite good. So we see Clarice and Sam say their two piece about their villa experience. Clarice insists that Tyler is quite fake. She Do you know what I mean? He's not been real with myself, has anyone really. So he mentioned that um, in the Casa Amor, Tyler gave her no um, reason to doubt him and no reason to think that he wasn't all into her. And honestly, I believe it. There's just something about Tyler I'm not buying right now. Like I said in my review today that Tyler and Kaz are not doing it for me. And the reason why is because Tyler just, someone in the after sun today, I don't know who she is, but some girl that was in the panel, she said that um, she can read Tyler's body language and like when he sniffs, like, like, you know, that thing he always does, she feels like he's lying. And the minute she said that, I was like, that's so true because there's been something off about his body language and I can't tell. And I know it probably just sounds like, this sounds so random, but I feel like Tyler is still not 100% in with Kaz. I don't think he was... Um, I think he's been fake to both of these women. Honestly, guys, time will tell. Only time will tell. But I still don't trust him, basically. And she was saying that he was quite fake and all of this. And honestly, to be fair, I she, just, she also said that she doesn't think she was treated fairly. And I agree. I don't think she was treated fairly at all. I feel like he did take the piss with her. Um, Sam said he really got along with Faye. To be honest, he probably dodged a bullet with that one. I'm not going to lie. I feel like Faye would have eaten him alive if he ever messed up. But um, they did have good banter. And I did say that I feel like they could be friends outside the villa. So that's a possible friendship there for him. And then we had Hugo and Amy, guys. You on that front. Of course you um, We had the what? chat in there about that we'd had come to kind of a crossroad on our journey. And I think that was... That was probably both clear to both of us, but apparently so not. So I wasn't so. part of that conversation, clearly. Con they were so hostile towards each other. Like, Amy was not holding back. She said to him, it's so funny because everything people have been saying about Hugo, saying, oh, he's, he's acting like he's on a lad's holiday or he's, like, doesn't really fancy anyone there. Nobody could be good enough for Hugo. That's everything we've been saying. That's literally what Amy was saying. She was like to him, it's like you've been on a, you've been acting like you're a lad on last holiday. Um, I feel like you just used me, all of this. And to be honest, I don't blame her for thinking all of that because the way a um Hugo switched from he didn't want Sharon, he didn't want AJ, he didn't want Georgia, he didn't want Amy, that's four girls. And I just feel like his heart is still with Chloe. He even admitted that he did have feelings for Chloe, so it was quite peak that that didn't work out for him because they really, really got on. So I feel like Chloe was his ideal girl, so everybody else was just not good enough. He said that he had been comparing them to Chloe all this time, but yeah, like, I don't know, this after start episode was kind of making sense. So my friend told me, so my friend said it was good, so I was like, okay, let me go have a look. And I watched it, and it was pretty good, but I feel like you guys should give it a little watch and see because it was actually pretty entertaining. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this quick short video. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I'm trying to come at you guys with daily reviews and weekly videos. Um, do any of you guys watch F Boy Island? Because I want to know what else, like, because I'm actually really enjoying doing reviews and I don't mind reviewing other things. Does anyone watch like f boy island does anyone watch big brother is anyone going to be watching the challenge is there any shows that you guys want me to review um after love island is done if there is just let me know and i will catch up with them and look into them and try and review them but yeah guys thanks for watching this video please like leave a comment and please subscribe thank you and see you tomorrow bye